Basutnib was actually the fourth TKI that was approved, and uh, the first one being imatinib, and the second two being uh, disatinib and nilotinib. Uh, although the mechanism of action is, is pretty similar, uh, you know, there's some fundamental differences among the different compounds. Basutinib uh, targets not only the BCR able uh, kinase, it also uh, has activity inhibiting the SARC kinase. Uh, which disatinib has, uh, imatinib does not, and nilotinib does not. Subsequent to the approval of, uh, of basutinib, was, uh, panatinib was approved. Although uh, uh, in the United States recently uh, the, the drug was, uh, was actually withdrawn um, while uh, additional information is being gathered. However, well, basutinib uh, probably has uh, similar activity to the other uh, second generation tyrosine kinase inhibitors, but it, it, they all have the, you know, fundamental differences among one another. And I think the most distinctive difference among the different compounds tends to be in the tolerability profile, because uh, each of these compounds has their own set of adverse events, and they're different adverse events across the different compounds.